Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video we're gonna talk about local save, how you can save your game locally. So without any further ado, let's begin. <laughs> So for doing that, I just create this project that has a simple sprite that is blue, an object off of that sprite that has a draw function that draw the score over our button, first draw itself and draw that score in our button. And whenever they click that button, we will add one to our score. So when we play it of course we add it to our room and where, whenever we click it the score will be incremented by one i want to explain the script as simple as possible so that's why i create this project that is just increment a number in this case the score but we don't want to use that the score so don't worry about that we want to have experience we want to have the health we want to have credit we have we want to have gold or whatever we want to be saved locally to our game so let's just close this. Like most of my videos, I always create an object or a script to show you as simple as possible to how you can do stuff like saving your game locally. This In this video, we did that as well. So what you should do, you should go to Marketplace. Just click on Marketplace and open Marketplace. And in here, just search for local save. I did upload it. It's just a simple script that you can add it to your account and after you add it to your account you can go to marketplace my library and in my library refresh it and after you refresh it you can go and find it in here download it first and then import it to your project just click add in here select it and click add in here and hit import and now you can close that like i said i don't want to use this score it's just for showing you what is our test project looks like so let me open this uh, script and tell you everything about it so first of all there is an extract in here that is global so it has credits it has levels we can add like experience like this that the default value is zero let's say each time that we click on that left pressed in this object button we want this credit to be incremented by 10 okay so let's just do that we can say global dot layer dot credit plus plus you add that to our player dot credit and you can see we have it here globally so we can increment it by how much we want in here we can say plus equal to 10 and in draw i want to show that so we say global dot player dot credit and it showed the credit for us so let's just run it and each time we click on this button it will increment it by 10 so let's just close this the problem with this when we close our game and run it again it will start at zero again so what we should do we should save it locally so if we go to our script at this line you can see that I just choose a name for our files that you want to save your player status in that so you can change it to whatever you want next thing that I want to tell you how you can save an string in a file in your project so let's just collapse all of these and go to the save string okay so first thing first we create a buffer with buffer create if you don't know how it works just hit middle mouse on it and you can see the documentation of them you can read it and there will be a, a example here and there will be a lot of explanation here so you can read it of course go so back to our game we just create that buffer and after that we store our strings to that buffer and after that we say buffer save and give, we give it the file name and the buffer that we want to save that buffer to that file and after that we can delete that buffer delete you always should delete that buffer that's why we create this function that will get an string and a file name to just save that string in that file and load say load a string is the same we say buffer load from that file and put it on save it on buffer and after that we say buffer read we give it the buffer and we say that is a string in here and we store it in this string after we store that string we delete that buffer and we return that string back for return so that's how our load a string work so that's it for save a string and load a string let's collapse this as well now that we know how we can store a string 
and we have function for that we can go to uh, let's say save add credit so in add credit we get in add credit function we get the amount that we want to add to our credit so first thing to do is we say global.player.credit plus equal amount so the amount will be increased but we should save that credit to, to our file to our save file so we say if our file that has the save file name that we created up here exists go and stringify that global.player you can see it here global.player is just like a json that we can say json stringify it and this json stringify it return back an string and we store it in the var json and now we can save that json that is an string to our file and for decreasing that credit because they may want to buy something from the shop of our game so we should decrease it is like this the add credit like we did it in here with just a minus instead of this plus in here and after that we save it in our file like we did it in the add credit but before doing that we should go to save data in it at the first time that they open our game we should create that file so how we can do it we can, we say in this function we say if the file with this file name doesn't exist just a string file or global.player that is a strike that is like json and give us the string of that and save that string to our file name with this it will create a file with our file name but if it exists just load that string and parse that string to our global.player so all the data will be loaded to our global.player that's it for save data in it or using this script we should create an object in here and let's just call it obg save game and in here let's just make it persistence and create an add event and here just say save data in it so it will create the file that we want for us to create our file or if the file exists load all the information and put it on the global.player so that's all you need to do in this obg save game if we should add it to our room and in instance creation order of our room it should be it should be at top we can close this close this as well and in here whenever they press that button instead of this we can say save add credit and how much let's say 10 whenever they click on this button 10 point will be added to their credit and it will be saved locally each time that they close their game and open it again the credit will be there and won't be lost so now if you run it it should give us an error so let's see you can see that save file name is not set before reading it so what is the problem the problem is that we didn't in the script it won't this line won't be hit because in the script the the codes that are not in a function don't execute so what we can do about that we can create a macro instead of this so we say macro so with that we get rid of that problem and now if we run it there won't be any error so whenever we click on this button 10 point will be added to credit will be saved locally so like this and we if we close it and run it again the credit will load and you can see it make it 110 and close it and run it again and it will be 110 again so let's say we want to increase the experience whenever we click on that button what you should do you should just copy and paste this save add credit Let's just paste it in here and instead of credit we can say experience like this how amount of experience that you want to add and you should add it to experience like this and after that it will be saved in our file that's how easy you can do that so in our left press event instead of save add credit we can say experience x and let's say add it add 100 to that and in here let's just show experience in our draw function and now let's just run it at the initialize it will be zero and whenever we click it 100 will be added to that and whenever we close it and run it again that value will be there with this script you can add what whatever you want to this global.player in a struct 
like DS list, DS array, DS map, and it will be automatically saved locally. And with that setup, you can always get that data, no matter how many times they close the game and reopen it again. This is the way I do local save in my game. If you have a better way, please leave it in comments so everybody can use it. In the next video, I want to talk about online saving. So how you can save your progress online with something like Firebase, Google Cloud Save. So please hit that subscribe button, like button and bell button if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.